Well, during a House hearing last week, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner insisted a tax hike is necessary to boost economic growth. But he was met with stiff opposition, particularly by Congresswoman Renee Elmers. If you don't touch revenues and you leave in place the tax cuts for the top 2 percent that were put in place by President Bush, if you leave those in place and you're trying to bring our deficits down over time, then you have to do exceptionally deep cuts in benefits for middle-class Americans. On behalf of the business owners in North Carolina and across this country, you are wrong. Joining us now from Raleigh, North Carolina, is Congresswoman Renee Elmers, Republican member of the House Committees on Small Business, Agriculture, and Foreign Affairs. Uh, let me ask you, uh, first, uh, first of all, are you at all hopeful we're going to see these debt negotiations amount to anything at all? Well, I am very hopeful, but as it stands right now, what I can say is the Republicans are committed to not raising taxes because that is just simply not the answer. Not the answer, but this president is every bit, it seems, as committed as the Republican leadership to insisting on what they artfully call a balanced approach, that is, uh, spending cuts and tax increases. Well, you know, and we did hear that from Secretary Geithner last week. Um, he included that as, as any of the future plans that they have. But it simply is not the answer. Right now, what we need are jobs. We need to create jobs in this country and remove the uncertainty that our businesses are facing. And to even be discussing the possibility of tax increases keeps those businesses from hiring again. And we have got to simply, in Washington, step back, get out of the way. And this really cannot be part of the debt ceiling issue. And uh, you and Treasury Secretary Geithner had quite an exchange there. Uh, you were obviously unpersuaded, uh, in, in, <laughs> entirely unpersuaded, uh, as to the efficacy of tax increases to stimulate small business. Uh, what is it that the, that the Treasury Secretary doesn't understand about the necessity uh, to provide great stimulus specifically to small business and stimulus is not the same thing as a tax increase on small business. Well, I think his point, and you know, this is where we have a fundamental difference in, in our beliefs as far as policy uh, goes and, and our political philosophies. I mean, this comes to the crux of the issue. There are those in Washington that believe that the more Washington that's in our lives, the better, that they have all the answers for us. And if we simply raise taxes on our business owners, that's going to solve some of our problems. Then there are those of us who believe that the private sector who are the job creators, not us in Washington, are the ones who need to be empowered. We have got to give every certainty we can to those individuals so that they can be hiring and we can start prospering again. That's the answer. You know, we're making the cuts in Washington, the needed cuts, but that's only part of it. And as long as we move forward like this, as long as we continue to talk about things like raising taxes and, and mounting regulations, our business owners just simply cannot hire. And there's no more certain way of of decreasing jobs in the middle class to lower income areas than to be raising taxes on our business owners. Thank you, Congresswoman Renee Elmers. Good to have you with us. Good to be with you.